hi welcome again in this video we're going to see how to create this road or pathway using unreal engine uh, landscape tools but using the non-destructive way so let's get started right now we have a landscape here right now i'm using open land to create this landscape but this works with any sort of landscape in your unreal engine game first of all i'm going to select my landscape from the world outline and then i'm going to select enable edit layers so i already have done that but if you're not enable this just click the check box that's something we need to have then i'm going to go into modes and landscape tools then we have a section called edit layers here so i'm going to add a new layer called splines so you can right click on that create then rename it splines you can put any any name you like then i'm going to right click on the new layer and select reserve for splines then it will enable this layer for splines then Unreal Engine knows how to deform the landscape to match the spline and that, that's what we need then I'm gonna look at the mode toolbar and select the spline section then I can add spline points by clicking the control button and the left mouse click so I'm gonna click here on the landscape and create a rod connecting to these two so now I have a pathway so I can zoom in so let me go back to the normal mode All right you can see now there's a some sort of a area a pathway but it's really hard to see from here because the material is the same so let's go back to the landscape tools I'm gonna change things a little bit so you can click any point and you can move with move that so I'm gonna move it a little bit up something like this then let's go to the end of the road so I'm gonna change that as well okay this looks fine now I'm going to add a material layer into this road so it should looks like sand in order to do that we need to configure our paint layer for that one so I'm gonna to go to the paint section here we should try to use uh, alpha layers so that gives a uh, good results so i'm going to select my sand alpha layer here i'm going to select that one and i'm going to assign the layer info so you can create a new layer info that's pretty important otherwise this change won't affect so now everything is ready on the paint layer so i'm going back to the manage section and we have the splines i'm going to click one of these points now if you go to the details panel now you can see some uh, configurations appears so from here so i'm gonna select all connected segments so basically segments are the pathways or the road control points are these points so in this case i know to select all the segments so that's why i click the segment button and i have already selected all the segments from here i can add a layer name in this case our layer name is sand alpha i'm gonna type that right now you can see it automatically at the the sand layer into that so now we can clearly see what's going on here so let me go back to the normal mode so i can see my rod here but i think this is too wide for my case i'm gonna narrow it down so it's pretty easy to do again i'm going to my landscape tools i'm gonna select one of these points here i'm gonna select the control points and now you got some configurations so i'm gonna change some of these configuration to to get the feel i want so from the half width i'm gonna type something around 200 all right okay this looks nice and the follow-up uh, i think let's see mm. i think uh, yeah i think this is fine now we have a problem here so as you can see grass is appeared on the road as well that's not something we need to have this is a problem when you are using uh, edit layers and uh, uh, splines right now there's no procedural way of to remove this grass so we have to manually remove this unfortunately so for that one i can go to my landscape tools again now i'm going to a paint section so now i'm going to select the my main layer because from the reserved spline layer i cannot do any painting from here we have a layer called remove grass as you can see here i'm going to select lane for that now i'm trying to paint on top, on top of this and try to remove grass from my pathway in this case i think uh, manually uh, removing grass looks nice but, but this is something tedious uh, depending on the project 
So let me put the player somewhere here and let's see whether this is the, the look I want. Yeah, I think this is the result I'm looking for and it's, yeah, it's pretty great. All right, uh, this is, is for today and see you soon with something interesting. Bye.